Hey, today we're doing a, a video review of the tablet I just purchased. This is Digiland 8-inch Windows 8 tablet. The model number is DL801W. It's, it's a very inexpensive tablet, uh, uh, a Windows tablet. You can buy it from Best Buy. At, when it's on sale, it's like $50. Really cheap. What's inside? cheap piece of warranty paper and the manual is like a folded paper it's really cheap looking okay and comes with a here in here there's power adapter and the USB cable the, the standard charging cable um, it's a micro USB so same as any cell phone charger that's all that's that came with this box so that's why it's cheap it's, it's not not much included so the tab itself, 8 inches, looks like um, any Android tablet you purchase with the Windows sign here. So, Intel inside, the Digital brand, has a, a uh, camera, rear facing and front facing camera, micro SD slot. It says it can support up to 32 gigabytes, but uh, I put in here at 128 gig. Seems to be working. Not completely sure. Microphone. Uh, sorry, this is the headphone slot. This USB is micro USB where you charge the the tablet. I'm not sure it can be used for any other USB device like mouse or keyboard, because this is. It's so cheap, there's no USB port other than this charging port. Power and volume control. So if you press power, so looks pretty good. The screen is uh, is 800 uh, 800p basically. It's, you can play 720 uh, HD movies, I guess. It's very good looking. Touch response is pretty responsive. It's pretty good actually. So you can pull up to the desktop here. And since this is Windows 8.1, you can install any Windows apps such as uh, Google Chrome or Firefox, install any uh, Microsoft Windows anything pretty much, Windows applications. Now since this has, let me show you the, so I ins that's, this is what I'm talking about, the SD card and it's installed. Actually, 128, it shows you 124 gigabytes available. I would say it's pretty good, uh, but I don't know how well it works. Now this is a 16 gigabyte memory tablet. So after all the system usage, you have left what? 9.92 9 uh, free uh, uh, after all the system utilities, you have 5.39. This is what I got. So it's fairly small. That's why you need the big SD card and also anything else that you want to store on this tablet. You either use SD or the Microsoft Cloud, or you can use the inter your use your your home Wi-Fi, uh, create a, a shared directory on your main computer. You can do a network sharing and store all the stuff there. That's what I do. So if we go to Control Panel. Everything seems to be good.
this is what I've been looking for, PC info. You can see it's 8.1 uh, Windows processor, Intel item, 1.33 gigahertz, memory 1 gig. This is 32-bit operating system, but an x64 based processor. The touch response takes a little used to because you can't use mouse. I mean, you, you can use a mouse, but here's what you do for a mouse or keyboard. There's Bluetooth available, so. You, pretty much would have to uh, buy a, a Bluetooth mouse or keyboard set for this. But you don't need, you don't have to. Uh, the, the, the online, sorry, the, the on-screen input should work if you want to input anything. So your, your touch response should replace the mouse and the on-screen keyboard can replace any keyboard. works fine. But if you do need a better uh, smooth experience, buy a set of Bluetooth keyboard and mouse. Batteries is, is fine. It does last. I charged this yesterday after a day of usage. It still has a big chunk left. Wi-Fi signal seems to be pretty pretty good, pretty strong. With a speaker. So overall a good tablet for the price. Of course this is no Microsoft Surface, but for the price, you can't beat it.